Okay, this is basically the intro video to our new sort of series, I guess, or we'll see, we'll see what it is. But basically, this is a project that I started a little while ago, I put on pause, and now I'm sort of returning to, um, which was, it's called Elden Bot, as you can tell from the excellent uh, editing above is that we're trying to make an AI that can play Elden Ring. Um, now that's sort of a vague open ended task. Um, so there's there's lots of directions this is maybe hopefully in the future going to go in, whether that takes the form of PvP or sort of open-ended exploration, you know, unsupervised task discovery, similar to sort of the neural MMO environment, lots of different things that you can do. But for now, we're focusing on one very targeted task, which is um, beating bosses. So right now, the current focus is on training an AI that is capable of fighting the bosses. And you don't have to get to boss arenas, you just put it in the boss arena and it beats the boss for you. Currently, we're just looking at Margit. Um, that's the focus. Originally, I was going to wait till we sort of beat Margit and then do a big sort of PR announcement. Um, but that's turning out to be a little harder than I thought. And I haven't had as much time recently. So I'm sort of getting back into it. I figured I'd get all this together. And then you know maybe see see what else other people have or ideas or what what they want to contribute um yeah so basically <clears throat> that's a high level overview right uh, ai to play elden ring lots of stuff you can do right now we're trying to make an ai to play the beat market what that takes the form of specifically is um no internal game state access so we're not you know looking at the files or the executables of elden ring we're just looking at the images that a human player would see probably downscaling them and then uh training an ai to do that so the exact form is something we've debated about right now uh our current implementation takes the form of simply uh gameplay that we have and then training doing a supervised learning on it um, we did implement some things that might make offline or online reinforcement learning compatible, but there's a lot of challenges with that. Uh, namely, it's, you know, those reinforcement learning is not notoriously data efficient and um, Elden Ring is not exactly a super fast environment that you can generate huge amounts of data on. But that's something to, to talk about in, in another video. Basically, this is just introducing the series and, and I should note that this is sort of inspired. The reason I did this and, and started this project is I was inspired by another YouTuber, Centdex. I don't know if that's how you say their pronunciation, who did years ago actually did something with GTA. Um, and I thought, you know, this would be fun to do with Elden Ring. I see a lot of other people doing reinforcement learning for fun, um, for like real, I guess, real games, right? Not just research, like Code Bullet, stuff like that. I wanted to try my hand at that, at that. And as it turns out, Elden Ring is a lot harder than driving in GTA. Driving is only three commands that you're doing constantly in a very straightforward task. Beating market is a lot, I guess it seems to be a lot harder to train an AI to do that. But we'll get to that also later. So basically, this is just going to be a series, hopefully uh, a longer one, that goes through all the different parts as we work through this project. Um, hopefully. Uh, eventually there will be an AI that beats Margit and then we can expand and do lots of things. But this is just the first sort of description video. Um, and hopefully there's a lot of stuff. A lot of the code we have written so far is just basic interacting. This is, was surprisingly hard actually to properly interact with the game, um, but that should be sort of general too. So if Elden Ring, if, you know, maybe Elden Ring works, maybe it doesn't, but I'm hopeful to try this on other games. Um, I've been trying to looking to expand into RL and applied RL more. Um, so yeah, hopefully this, this is a really exciting project and it should be a lot of fun. Uh, just to note, the GitHub repository of the code is linked below. We also have a Discord server and then there's also weights and bias experiment tracking, not that we've done much experiments and that's sort of the gist of it. Um, the next video will be sort of setting up the account and explaining what that looks like. Then after that, we'll go through interaction and then supervised learning. And then that's probably all we have so far. But um, yeah, hopefully people get ex as excited about this as I am.